Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus, and in today's video I'm going to be making a hard orchestral drill beat for someone like Digger D. He just dropped his new music video which is trending number one on YouTube right now. The energy is crazy in it, it's like an orchestral New York drill beat which we all know is my forte so it got me wanting to make another. So yeah let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the key with these type of beats is just keeping it tense, which means you're not changing the chords too much. You want something kind of dark and repetitive, so I'll show you what I mean. So I want to go for some strings, and I'm thinking about layering a couple different ones. So the first one I want to use is this chamber strings in Analog Lab. I've got the scale set to a minor scale. I'm just going with C sharp minor for now. We can always change that. And then a BPM, I want to keep it kind of fast, so around about 144. So I could start off with something really simple like this. So instead of building a full chord out like that, I could just take away the middle note. And then just keep this as the foundation, just really basic. Then I could even double these up. Could get another bass note in there. Just use the C sharp again. Let's try it up. So I like the way that sounds. I'm just gonna randomize the velocity. Let's try a different key though. So I like D sharp. Oh, I like the way this one sounds too. The two layered together sounds sick. And then just to try, I want to layer the same chords with a pad, and we could just use expand too. So I like this preset here. I think we've got enough layers for the chords. And then just for some movement, I'm just going to add this default setting on portal. Maybe bring back the mix level a little bit. And then I've just copied the same preset, because once you've got it twice, you get a bit more of a shimmer effect. Then I've just got a layer of this ambient lake preset, but I'll bring the mix down again. Makes it a bit more spacious. Alright, and then the other thing I'm going to add is cassette, but I want to bring the noise down. I've got it on the clean tape preset and then insert 4. So this is before. And then after. I feel like it just takes away a bit of high end, just makes it a bit darker. I'm also just going to take out some of the lows. And some of the highs, just really filter it out. And then just to give it a bit of movement, I'm going to throw on kickstart. But just a subtle amount. Alright, next I think I need a counter melody to stop it becoming so boring. So I want to add a violin and I'll just record something in. Okay, so I've just fixed the velocity. Just still keeping it natural though. And then I just change this end in here. Okay, I've also added a crystallizer to that violin. I've just changed it to quarter notes, brought the mix down, and then added some reverb, and now it sounds like this. Just think it fits the vibe more. Everybody's always asking what violins I'm using and I always leave links to the plugins I use in the description so make sure you check them. Okay and I want to get some vocals in there and I'm just going to use distant voices for this one. It's in arcade, they sound sick so even just these two. I don't want to go crazy with the vocals. It's just kind of filling in those gaps. And then I also want to add this from Arcade. I think this is just going to add a bit more tension. So maybe when I start building up in the arrangement, this could go in a hook or just where there's more energy. But on this one, I'm just going to add Pan Man. And now it's just going to go between both ears. But I'm going to bring the mix down. So if you've got headphones on, you should hear that going through. Okay, and I've just taken the melody, I've rendered it, and then reversed it. I left the high strings out though for now. I just want to see if there's a different chop I could get. So I'll chop it by bars, set it to generic bleeding, and let's just see. Oh, I like that bit there, that sounds sick. With the reverse violins, so we could keep that, and then maybe bring these two in. And then with these last two, I can just switch these around. Maybe take this actually. Alright, yeah, I'm feeling this chop. So now I've just taken another version, but with the vocals too, and I'm just going to chop it the same way. So now I'm going to do that chop just one more time, but this time it's going to have the high strings in there. Alright, cool. I've got the three separate ones now, so we can add in some drums.
Okay, this can do it for one pattern. I'm actually changing it to this potions one. For the sound of it. And then I'll use some higher ones just to fill in some gaps. So yeah, I'll take this lighter one. All right, so I can take that, copy it over, and then just do something else at the end. There we go. Now we've got the bounce. And with the second one, I'm just panning it. I'm gonna bring the mix down. Okay, for the snare, let's try this Iceland one. And I'm just gonna add a couple of filler ones in too. All right, cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna layer the main ones with this crackle snare. So I'll just copy them in and then take out the fillers. Okay, for the eight weight, I'm gonna go with this rider one. And when it comes to adding the slides, the easiest thing to do is just have the melody and ghost notes. Cause then most of the time, if you use slides in the same notes, it's gonna sound right. This one, maybe I can have it slide into itself. All right, and in this next section, I want to add some kind of grind bass. And then with some panning too. Okay, with this one, I'm thinking to chop it. Okay, just the last few more grind bases in. And then with that last one, I'm gonna copy it to the beginning. Okay, for the kick, you already know it's the bass kick. And then we just bring up the volume. There. And then just to keep it simple, I could even just copy in the eight weight pattern, get rid of all the slide notes, then press Alt and K to bring them all to C. There we go. Alright, so the eight weight and kick both sounding hard. I just want to add in a few more perks and effects. For the rim, because I don't want it to clash so much, we're going to pan it. And then maybe just take out some more low end. Yeah, it sounded crazy. Obviously, we've got a razor riser in there as well. Then why not get the camera flash in there as well? I'm just adding loads of energy right at the end of every eight bar. And then I think when it drops, it needs some kind of stomp. Pan these as well. And then I think I want this impact too. And then we can add some delay to that. And then just for some more atmosphere, I think just one more kind of perk hit effect. And then I think that might be it. Okay, so let's split the drums and we'll figure out the arrangement. All right, so for the intro, I've just rendered the melody one more time and taken out the violins. Just so it has something to build up to. Okay, so for the drop, I'm just gonna keep a short intro. And I might even save that violin. So I'm just gonna have this section repeat. So something like this. Sounded crazy. In this section, we could have the vocals come in. All right, cool. And then when it gets to the verse, we just need to duck some energy out. All right, cool. And 
and now I can carry on. Let's take this high one here and we'll use the vocals there instead. And then in the verse, we won't have any grind bass. Okay, in this section, just have a little bit of a break. And I'm only gonna have the verse 12 bars for this one. Let's cut these here. And then from here, we could just bring the hook back in. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So for the intro, like I said, I just took the melody without the violin or the vocals. Quite a short intro. And then straight into the hook. Hard drop, obviously. And we've got the vocals in. Grind bass too. And this is the part with the higher strings. It's the best. So straight in. I feel like there's just bare energy in this track. Gotta have those little breaks in the drums. I'm just introducing the violin again at this point. And then just a little breakdown. Not much of a bridge because I just wanted a lot of energy all the way through. But then it picks up. 